Question 3.4, uh, this is the structure of the air. You need to know exactly what is this. They are saying that develop, uh, the diagram below represents the part of the human ear with the middle ear infection. Middle ear infection. What is what is the A? You need to know pinna, uh, auditory canal, tympanic membrane, the oscos because there are three, semicircular canal, uh, oval window, and then a station tube, which is filled up with the fluid. So that's why it is middle ear infection. Identify part B. We've seen it. We have seen it, which is auditory canal, and then part D, part D, which is oscos, which are the three bones in found in the ear. State the one function of A. This one is collect and direct sound waves to the uh, auditory canal. It, it collects, it collects, it collects sound waves from different directions and then does not only collect, it directs all of it which has come there. It's being uh, directed to what? To the uh, auditory canal. That's the meaning. And then uh, saying that uh, another question is um, explain how the middle ear infection could affect hearing. How is this middle ear infection affect hearing? Which is, the, um, it, it means that there will be a problem with the part D, these oscos to move freely. So basically you can say that part D or what called the oscos. The oscos, the oscos will not vibrate freely because of the fluid which is inside there. Will not vibrate freely and then uh, this will cause the oval window not to receive enough vibration. So the oval window, because this one is not vibrating freely, the oval window will not receive enough vibration. And then uh, there will be no pressure which is being built inside the cochlea. So if this one is not moving, then there won't be enough pressure which is built inside the cochlea. And then what happens? Uh, it means that there won't be enough impulse which is going to be sent to cerebrum, uh, cerebrum for interpretation. Hence, uh, this person will become deaf or hearing loss. Remember, deafness is which can be partial deaf or complete deaf. So basically, you, we are just explaining the transmission of the sound in the negative way. There won't be enough um, movement of the oscos. There won't be enough um, pressure built in uh, the movement of the uh, of a window. And then there won't be enough pressure built uh, into the cochlea and less impulse or no impulse will be sent to the uh, cerebrum, uh, cerebrum for interpretation, and then this will cause the person to be deaf. And then uh, another question they're saying that uh, name the small uh, device which is being used uh, to treat the middle ear infection. Remember, this device to be used is supposed to cut supposed to cut here and then we suck all the fluid which is inside here we suck it out and after that we put that small device so that it is able to drain and make the middle ear to be um to be dry so we call them grow grommets so we call them what grommets hmm this grommets is not supposed to have the e yeah we call them what Grommets. Remember, middle ear infection is being caused by a bacteria, so you can also apply antibiotics. But they didn't ask you that question. They all only asked for the device. Then they are saying that, oh, I've skipped um, one question. Describe the role of a station tube. The role of a station tube, remember, a station tube connects to the mouth. So what is the function of the, the station tube? The function of the station tube, it is to equalize the pressure on the either side of the tympanic membrane. So this is the station tube, which connects to the mouth, is to equalize the pressure on the either side of the tympanic membrane. Then lastly, but not the least, they're asking you to um, write the letter of the part which uh, where the small device named above, which is the grommet. Uh, we say that this are uh, uh, gro grommet. Grommet, uh, which is is where where is, where is it is supposed to be? Where is it supposed supposed to be uh, inserted? 
is supposed to be inserted in the tympanic membrane. And then if you look at this, uh, it is uh, part C. And then lastly, describe how part E, what is part E? The semicircular canals. Whenever you talk about the semicircular canal, we are talking about balancing. So this of how part E is involved in maintaining balance when there is a change in the speed and direction. Whenever you talk about speed and direction, now you're talking about the cristae. Uh, cri Whenever you talk about this, cristae, which is called cristae, cristae. Remember, the other one is the um, um, is the maculae, which is the uh, position of the head. So meaning that change uh, in the speed and the direction of the head will stimulate the crystal found in the, where is, is, is crystal found? So is crystal is found in the um, ampulla of the semicircular canal, yes. And then um, the impulse which is being received um, is converted the stimulus which is being received is converted into an impulse which moves along the uh, old, uh, auditory nerve to cere cerebellum for interpretation to restore balance. Or you can say that crystal uh, are stimulated and then converts the, the stimuli into enough impulse which is uh, sent to cerebellum, uh, cere cerebrum, cerebrum uh, where the, the an interpretation and then uh, then this sends the impulse to the muscles and then uh, balance is being restored. Uh, lastly, uh, let me show you uh, from our booklet and then you see exactly what I'm trying to say. You see, here is the side models, uh, side is model of balance, whereby it's saying that uh, change in the speed and direction, you see it is crystal found in the ampulla of the semicircular canal. The, the, the stimuli is converted into enough impulse which is sent along the auditory nerve to the cerebellum for interpretation to restore balance, meaning that sends back the muscles and then balance is being obtained. So basically, that's what you're supposed to explain. So it means that you're looking for this route. So the paper really was also very easy, paper one. Uh, I'll come back uh, again to discuss other papers. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned. And whenever we post, please try to watch so that you at least you upgrade your marks uh, and then you get a distinction. Thank you very much. See you again.